Hi, it's Laura T at Dream Deals 123 on eBay, and I'm the Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube. I made $189 last night. Let's break it down. <laughs> Throw my stuff here. And uh, see what's sold. Oops. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Lonely women are the desperate kind. And I'm hanging at the end of a line. I love this song so much. Losing hope when the cold doesn't come. All right. It's a feeling I choose. A feeling numb. Oh, 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 then you stumble in, and I am stumbling back to where it began. Well, that'll get me kicked off or something. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Did not plan that. It just came up. All right. We're talking about eBay here and a lot of other stuff. You know how it goes. I do have a lot on my mind. This little mind. I've been thinking about stuff. Thinking about you, my friends. <laughs> Among other things. Okay, I sold this. I'm going to talk about what I paid, what they paid for both. Sh they paid for shipping, so I'm going to talk about price they paid for it, what the shipping was, their total, what my cost was, what my profit was on each item, and at the end, I'm going to talk about what my net profit was on last night's sales and my year-to-date gross and net profits. Usually, my profit is about 50% on average of my gross. So if I make $100 in sales, I usually get to pocket about $50 worth of that. And that's pretty, pretty good, I think, pretty normal. I don't know, I was looking at some, I'm doing a little research today on people's, other people's stores, and, you know, everybody's just so different, but I'm going to talk about that. Life is good. Yellow yoga cotton baseball cap, hat, zen, one size. They paid $7 and $5 shipping. I took a best offer. I've had it for a while. They paid 12 so I paid two, only made three on that. But I made my $2 back too. So five, you know what I mean. I, I, you got to think about that sometimes, especially if you have like a lot of money into something. Um, maybe when you bought it, the market was different or it's gotten more competitive and you got to come down a little bit. Vintage pair of tan embroidered cloth linen napkins floral fringe cottage core they paid eight and five shipping eight dollars for them and five shipping i made i paid one so they paid a total of 13 and i played six i hope i'm not saying this in too confusing of a way All right, I've been selling a lot of these. I bought about 25 of them at a yard sale. The guy had them all in a, on a table for like $5 each. I said, can I take them all for $3 each? It's hook and tackle. I had never heard of it. Hold on, hold on. <sighs> oh, here comes Chelsea. And you come stumbling in. <sighs> I'm not gonna. I was gonna talk about my our secret family cat and dog language. Do you have one? Just you know that you and your family know what you're talking about, but everybody else would think you're crazy. We have a whole vocabulary. Like we call uh, petting and like affectionate. Uh, you know, petting. We call that scrumbling. Okay. So when I sing that song, I always replace the word you stumble in to you scrumble in. Or I'll say, and I am scrumbling. Okay. It's 
much weirder here than than you can possibly imagine. All right, hook and tackle. So anyways, I've been selling these regularly. I just, they were different sizes, but uh, they've all been selling. So it's size 38. Where's the name on it? Yeah, it's on the pocket there, hook and tackle. So hook and tackle, men's short, size 38. And the th reason they're so expensive or so popular is they've got the ever popular beer can pocket. And I believe a, a little a cigar pocket. Well, so everything that you need for your, your party is in these shorts, party shorts. I paid, so hook and tackle men's short, size 38, beer can pocket, fish hike, outdoor cotton. So you could stand there and you could be fishing and you got a place to hold your beer and a place to hold your cigar and you're good to go. They paid 22 and five, 22 for them, $5 shipping. They paid 27. I paid three, so I made 15 on those. But this is like the 10th pair I've sold. So that's been good. Definitely made my money back and much more. Miracle suit. Miracle bathing swimsuit, one piece, black, white, size 12, ruched. The kind of uh, crinkling on the sides, ruched, scrunching, animal print, and they paid $23 and $5 shipping for a total of 28. I paid four, so I made 14 for those. Calm, be calm. That's the name of the brand. Be calm. I like it. Keep calm and carry on. Be still and know that I am God. Lots of good verses. Lots of good stuff to think about. Be calm. Size 12. Be calm women's red white maxi halter dress. Very long. It's got the kind of paisley. Not really paisley, just red floral. Halter dress, red, white, maxi dress, halter size 12. They paid 19 plus $5 shipping for 24. I paid five, I made 10 on that. And I've had these for a long time. Brooks, which is a good brand. They're in good condition, right? Um, just sad. Brooks GTS 12 Mogo DNA women's size nine, good size, narrow 2A. Okay, there's the rub. Probably the narrow is maybe what kept them. Anyways, I sold them. I took a best offer of 25 plus seven shipping. I paid two, so I made, so they paid 32. I paid two. I made 20. Hey, there's Bingley. I see Bingley here. Hi, Bingley doing it stay away from everything now bingley oh bingley. he's so fat oh i wonder why all right go on now go on now. all right uh where are we brooks made 20 and then i sold a bunch of free books one time and i tried that trick of like putting a bunch of books from one author together uh, and then they didn't sell, so then I slashed prices and took offers. Um, it's all about the price, people, really. So they paid $9 and $5 shipping for 14 These were free, so I made 7 And the books, I'm really trying to slash prices because all my big, heavy stuff, I'm moving. So lots of these prices are just rock bottom. It's like, it's like, you know, sometimes I think about having a yard sale, but think about all the trouble yard sale is okay so um i don't want to do that so i so the stuff that i would consider putting on my yard sale i ask myself if i get an offer if i was selling this at the yard sale would i take this price would i take seven dollars for those uh books yeah of course so everybody's different and the reasons why some of these i'm selling 
low is because I want to move big stuff. Like I went through this Revere Wear copper bottom pan. If this is moving, it's because Chelsea's down there and she's just running into it because she needs a treat. She knows when I talk, I am a sucker for giving treats to them. She distracts me. Go. Oh my goodness. So anyways, um, totally forgot where I was. Yeah, pricing, reasons, the difference, and I'll talk about that. Okay, so $7 on those. Yeah, big stuff like the pots and pans that I have. I went through a Revere Wear copper bottom pot and pan thing because I was watching Hustling Hooks. And and they're pretty good, but uh, I think they've stopped too. They were really pushing pots and pans for a while. I think they've stopped too because the market just got so saturated. They're so big and heavy and shipping is so expensive. It just, uh, so I got to just... I don't even want to slash prices because the shipping is so expensive. I think I am going to just take those and either take them to my consignment shop. It's not my own consignment shop, but I have a consignment shop I can take things to. But I don't even know. I have to call them to see if they will even take stuff like that because uh, for the same reasons. Anyways, um, but I'm really trying to move stuff. That Especially stuff. I went and put stuff on 50% off sales last week. So, and it was already, prices were rock bottom. Vintage purple lace slit negligee nightgown undercover wear petite small USA. Just want to check all that's right. Yep. Petite, petite. They paid... $14 and $5 shipping, so they paid $19. I paid $2. I made $9. $9.9. $9.9. Where is it? Somewhere. Somewhere in the night, we will know. Dharma Trading Co. Company. Tie dye dress, long sleeve, 100% cotton made in USA, large. I pay, they paid 15 plus six for 21. I paid five, I made nine. I bought two of these, they were the same size, a little bit different in coloring and they both sold within a week. So maybe I had them priced a little low, but compared to other Dharma trading stuff, but again, maybe I needed to up them a little bit. That's okay, I'm happy for the fast sale. Susan Graver, she's somebody new I've been doing. Um, just have a good sell through if you put it at the right price. Susan Graver, 3X. I think she the her lot the larger things do well. And this is just a Susan Graver women's size 3X long open cardigan duster black stretch. They paid $24 and $5 shipping for $29. I paid two. I made $18 on that. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> So I have made this year 23,231 gross and 12,015 net. Woohoo. Woohoo. We went up another $1,000. Yes, we did. And we're at 12,000 for the end of June, which is what I was hoping for to hit my $2,000 a month and we've been June, January, February, March, April, May, June, six months, $12,000 net, a little more, and the, bleh, bleh, it's not even over yet, is it? Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, now, what did I want to talk to you guys about? I have a lot of notes. Let's see here. Oh. <sighs> I just wanted to emphasize how everybody's different. Like I've been talking about moving and I'm slashing prices and that's the way I like to do it. Some people might not want to do that. And um, like I was looking at Kaylee Elaine, she's got a YouTube video and she sells a lot of clothing and I was trying to compare her sell through rate with dresses to my sell through rate with dresses. And hers is about 25% and mine's looked like more about 30%, so a little better. But her prices were much, much higher. 
And the reason is, I think she's just, she's got some great items. She does uh, ass, asset stacking, uh, where you try to make sure everything is has many good things going for it, like size, style, brand, condition. And uh, she just consistently can get some good prices, but she's got, I think, 6,000 listings or something, and you know, about a sixth of those are like under, under, you know, or low price. So in other words, it's not all high selling. Um, one thing she, she doesn't add best offer right away and neither do I. I usually, she waits 90 days to let us add best offer. I think she said, I wait 38 days, but I think best offer is for me, really pivotal in making sales, especially stuff that I listed years ago. So if you and if you don't do best offer, I would consider looking at the items that you've had listed a long, long time. If you're somebody like me who's been listing on eBay for many, 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 many years, you know what I mean. You might have, I think I was listening to Cat the Nurse Flipper no, no, Rebel Reseller, and she sold, she's doing the same thing, slashy prices, but she sold like a Fisher Price toy that she's had for over eight years. She sold it because she slashed the price, and it's or possibly not something that has a really high desire. And when you're, when you're thinking about what to buy, really give thought into like, is this something that people are wanting right now? And, um, and really give thought to, well, here, here's another thing I wanted to, everybody to give thought to is what works for you? Don't try to sometimes put out of your mind everything you're watching. You kind of got an idea of what to do, but what would work for you? What do you like to sell? What do you have access to? Are you rural? Are you city? Are you near, uh, like in Utah, they seem to be able to find a lot of Arcteryx because there's a lot of people out there for that, that sort of thing. Um, if you're on the coast, you might be able to find a lot of resort type, like fresh produce or something. Um, what do you like to do? Like I watched a video this morning of somebody I had never watched before and it kind of irritated me because the, the, big blurb was how to get started selling on repay, eBay, how to st get started. And I've never, I, I haven't really made one of those videos because um, my feeling is there are a lot out there, but boy, after watching this one, I was like, maybe I do need to make one because I did not like the advice he was giving at all. Uh, and he has a lot of watchers, but it was basically, he was like, go to Terapeak and find what has a high sell through rate, which is good. And then he mentioned another uh, place you can go to check on sell through rate or on, on uh, popularity on eBay. And it looked very good. You have to pay for it. And it looked like he is an affiliate with it. But the item that he picked showing like what was the top selling was the type of thing I would never want to sell. First of all, it was LED lights. Okay, I mean, I'm not saying I would never find them if I found a good deal, but I, I'm not gonna go out of my way to make that my major thing. However, if after watching that, I felt like, wow, LED lights would, you know, I could certainly find those, a lot of those, or get a source for those and sell them, I would. But here's the problem. Where do I get these cheap LED lights? Do I go on Alibaba or something? I mean, because if if that if that information is out there for everybody, isn't the market going to be flooded and isn't it going to be hard to find a cheap source? So, to me, that kind of um, I mean, in general, he's giving a general good advice: find something with a good sell-through rate, but. Where do you find it? That's what we want to know. Hey, here's a tip for you. Uh, guys, vintage Rolex watches in mint condition are really good sell-through. Great. Where do I get those 
vintage Rolex watches. You know what I mean? So, you know what I'm saying? So think about what, what you like to sell, something you know about. Uh, and you don't have to know a lot. I didn't know as much about clothing as I do now. Far from it. I didn't know what ruched meant or uh, uh, madras print. Madras, by the way, is very good. Um, I didn't know those things. But something you think you might like to know about. Do you like jewelry? Do you, know, do you like to wear jewelry? You probably then know a lot more about jewelry than I do. Um, even though I wear jewelry, I don't wear it too much. Uh, I don't wear it out very much because I'm always just like to dress up for these videos actually with, <laughs> with the earrings and stuff. So I don't know a lot about it, but I'm getting off track. I digress. So anyways, um, yeah, just try to try to think about those things and really give it some thought what you think, what kind of store would work for you. Other things that I have going for me or that are different for me than other people is I've got some negatives. I'm mobility impaired. It's very hard for me to move around sometimes. And so that affects my thrifting, how fast I do things, all kinds of things. Um, however, in my favor, my kids are grown and gone. I don't have a job other than this. Um, I really don't have any other responsibilities at all. So I've got all the time in the world to do it. So that fits well with my kind of going slow. But maybe you are very quick and organized and get a lot done, but you're raising three kids and you've got a part-time job. So it's going to look a lot different for you. I have a husband with a full-time good income. We have other sources of income. We've got some rental properties. We've got a tiny house Airbnb going, which I'm going to... Uh, give you the link is we're getting professional photographs taken so I want to do that and make it look nice for y'all and then I'll show it but um and that's been going well we've got uh um you know 401k investments stuff like that so that makes it different for me maybe that uh, gives me the freedom to slash my prices quite quite frankly because I'm not so worried about it although if you're not making any sales and you need the money you might consider slashing your prices to see if you can get those sales because you could have like, you know, thousands listed, but if you're not making the sales, something's, you know, you're going to want to change something unless you like everything to be long tail. So anyways, okay. On to other things. I was listening to Bill Burr today and he mentioned a movie that I did see on Netflix that I thought, oh, that looks good. That's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. I think it's called Arnold. It's not a movie. It's a documentary. And it sounds like it's just uh, amazing. So I'm going to watch that and, and I will recommend it to you. I found this book, this little notepad at a yard sale and I think I picked it up for like a dime or something like that and in it was this and I'm going to read this to you <laughs> just all that was written in it my wife is incredible she's all I ever drink about you should try needlepoint you seem stressed Show me how to think pink, and I'll show you how to ponderosa. Ponderosa. Show you how to ponderosa. Weather says it'll snow, but that could be flake news. I will see you in the next one.